a window of time when that tornado warning was in effect. Yeah, that's right. That line of storms moved through and activity has been, um, a lot of activity has been occurring there at Troy and Monica has given us great updates and we did get word that the National Weather Service will be conducting a survey tomorrow of the damages to determine if a tornado did touch down. We are unsure of the time right now, but we will be giving you the latest updates as they do come in. Live Doppler 7, we're seeing skies for you every 60 seconds and you can see that the heavy rain has pushed well off to the east and we are just dealing with a little bit of lighter shadow our activity specifically here in the Dayton metro area up towards Huber Heights right around Tip City up towards Troy and Piqua and as far east as Springfield down towards Fairborn and into South Charleston. These showers will begin to taper off as we head into the night and winds will be the main story. We do have a high wind warning and we could see wind gusts as high as 55 miles per hour and we actually even have reports of higher wind gusts at Wright Patterson Air Force Base coming in at about 83 miles per hour. So it will be a very windy night across the Miami Valley. Here's the timing for that. You can see as we take you through the 12 a.m. hour through the 3 a.m. hour, you can still expect those winds to be gusting as high as 50 to 50 miles per hour. But the good news is as we looked closer towards Sunday. It will be a very windy start to the day, but drier, calmer, and quieter conditions will arrive as we head towards the afternoon and evening. Let's go ahead and time that out for you on Futurecast. A lot of that rain will push off to the east and taper off quickly. Futurecast is wanting to filter in a little bit of that light snow shower activity. However, I really don't think that that's happening. We are starting to see our temperatures drop because colder air is filtering in, and that's why it's suggesting that there could be a little wintry mix, but I really don't think that that's going to be the case. I think the showers will quickly exit, and we will be in store for a dry night. As we take you through Sunday morning, you can see we are dealing with just a little bit of that cloud cover. We will get a little breaks in the clouds, but we will see predominantly mostly cloudy skies for the majority of the day. But we will continue to stay dry, which is pretty good. Temperatures right now, we are into the 40s. We are still very warm and you can see where that colder air is starting to filter in right up towards Wapakoneta coming in at 38 degrees over towards Greenville at 39 and we will continue to see our temperatures fall into the 30s and we will see them push closer to the lower 30s I should say 35 degrees excuse me but we should see wind gusts high 55 miles per hour and we will be turning colder. As far as tomorrow's forecast, we will see temperatures climbing into the middle 40s. We will be significantly cooler than what we were today, but this is still considered to be above average. We should be sitting into the middle 30s right now. So we will continue to stay warm. Cloud cover will linger throughout the morning, afternoon, and as we head into tonight, but we will continue to stay dry, so I guess that's a positive. So if you would like to get outside, I do suggest doing that as we take towards Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Temperatures will really begin to rain once again as we head towards Tuesday with highs climbing into the upper 50s, and those warmer temperatures will continue even as we head into Wednesday, 58 degrees. But the chance for scattered showers will return back into the forecast, so if you do have any outdoor plans, I highly suggest doing them Sunday through Tuesday. But we will be drier but cooler on Thursday with highs into the low 40s. All right, thanks, Molly. A new quarter design has been unveiled. The U.S. territory it represents and the meaning behind the engraving on it. Two teams punched their tickets to the NFL's Final Four today, and the Flyers added another notch to the win column, but at what cost to the future? Sports is up next. Stay right there.